Alright, tubers. We'll make you out a little short one. Uh, I already done one side and I forgot to make a video. Uh, the other day when I went on a little mud run with the with the deer, I had uh, I noticed the front end was real sloppy. But I brought it back up here at the house and I had to had the same issue with this one. I did with the old, old husk barn. But uh let's see. No plastic bushings. Um uh, these are the spindle bushings here. But they were wore out. There's another one way down here. Oh, Yeah, these, uh, what I wanted to make a video about, though, was, uh, whenever y'all, whenever y'all get, uh, get to sourcing your parts, you know, I source a lot of my parts off of eBay, because, I mean, uh, I can find the right thing, and I know what I'm looking for already, <coughs> and, uh, I can find it, you know, a whole lot cheaper than uh, than you can, you know, around town here. Plus, we ain't got one really good hardware store, and they they think a whole lot of their stuff. Good hardware store, though. I mean, I'm not knocking them, but uh, yeah. But uh, what I was getting to, these pieces here on eBay were ten dollars and seventy eight cents I think a piece that's uh, that kind of kind of throwed me because that's a lot of money for a piece of plastic at Husqvarna I ordered uh, I got a whole set of them you know four pieces for uh, same price free shipping but uh, these things here they think a lot of these well, like I said, I know I know what I was looking for, so I got to looking for bushings, flanged bushings, and uh, I looked up copper, looked up brass, bronze, um, uh, what else? I looked up regular steel ones, but I ended up finding these for uh, eight fifty a piece. So, I mean, I saved, I saved myself, you know, around six, seven dollars. Still, I didn't really want to pay that much for them, but I got a lot better product for my money. Plus, I got it a little bit cheaper. I had to get this from a, a machinery uh, outlet. I can't remember the name of them right now, but they had quite a bit of. Quite a wide variety of uh, bushings. They actually had these bushings here, a quarter inch, quarter inch long, which I would, I wouldn't want nothing like it. These are uh, these are one inch, I believe, or three quarter. But yeah, I just I figured I'd throw that on y'all. You know, uh, sometimes sometimes you can. You can go cheap. Sometimes you can go real cheap and still get a better product. You just got to look around. But uh, like I said, I figured I'd throw that on you. And uh, as far as the wheel bushings, I went with the old plastic ones, you know. Got the, got the four of them for, I think, $12. Um, I could have went up the steel ones, or I could have even went to Barron's. But... Uh, like I said, I mean, this old tractor, it don't go all that fast and uh, don't really want it to go all that fast. I mean, I use it to, I use it to pull the big wagon. So it uh, does what it needs to do. Look at there. T01. Oh, well. But uh, figured I'd throw that on, y'all. You know, sometimes you get on there and you, you can't hardly find nothing. You got to. I've been on there and searched for two or three hours, something simple, and uh, finally found it, you know, in nowhere where it should have been. 
but figured I was gonna show y'all that. I'll get I'll let y'all have it back. I might make some more. They uh we had somebody working in our crew on the construction site that tested positive with that corona. So uh right now I'm on a I've done been tested, I ain't got my results back yet, but uh, right now we're on a two week quarantine. So I'll, br I'll probably be making some more videos here in the next few days. But uh, something else I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take these pipes. I've got, uh, got this old tuned header. Looks like old bugle, don't it? That's a tuned header for a uh, five and a half horse Briggs flathead. And uh, I'm gonna chop that thing up and uh, turn these down. But uh, I might show y'all a little, little bit about that after a while, maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to get at it. i got some more work I need to do. I need to get this thing running so I can do the work. Fix the hook it to the trailer and drag a bunch of stuff down the burn pile. We're going to get a bunch of rain tomorrow. So got the yard mode. Get this thing going. Get all that stuff burnt. And we'll be good to go tomorrow. So I guess I'll let y'all have it back, tubers. Thank you.